Oh, let's try that. Okay, there we go. I forgot I uh, unplugged all of my stuff the other day because I was working on my laptop um, in the living room. While I was waiting for somebody to show up to do some work. Hey Brooke, how are you? You're babysitting right now? That sounds like fun. And my desk is like a hot mess. I need something with this. Something with this mat. And honestly, I probably should have vacuumed in here before I started this this project because my desk is covered in cat hair and cat hair and paint generally don't mix. So it's probably going to be a um, a pretty like chill stream today. Uh, I don't know how long I'll go for. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this. But um, yeah, I'm kind of having a uh, some health stuff going on. So we'll see how uh, how far we get. But since I didn't stream last week, I really wanted to stream this week. Um, and since I'm so I'm trying to uh, a few different like paint projects uh, some of it is for some content that will come out like later down the uh, down the road hey Sonia how are you right I don't know what this music is. but yeah so I have some paint projects that I want to to work on um Ryan's uh, community color that he was working on for this month from uh, Hannah Carlson. And so as I've been kind of like retooling things and oh, by the way, this is the intro. <laughs> We're not on the other other screen. Um, we'll just we'll just do it here. Uh, so as I've been kind of retooling things and working on things and if um, Know, the research and whatnot that goes into content creation and just kind of trying to figure out what what I'm doing and where I'm going to go from here um, and playing with with formatting and all of that fun stuff uh, I am going to I'm going to work on Ryan's buddy color and get all of my footage that I need for it but I think I'm going to wait until May to release it. Uh, it's a mermaid, so you know it would fit in with the mermaid theme, and that would give me an opportunity to kind of stick with the uh, the theme that we had going uh, for for this month. You know, with like the plants and animals and and whatnot. Um, it's kind of my plan, but because I'm limited on like desk space, if I'm gonna of paint out it makes sense to film more than one paint project uh so we might paint next week too depending on how like how far how far i get um it just yeah it's a pain to uh get all the paint out and then oh well we're doing colored pencils today so then i gotta pull the paint away but i'm still working on paint projects then I got to pull all the paint back out. So I'm trying to um, to group projects together. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to play with gouache. Um, let me just make sure I have enough space here on my desk. So uh, this is my sketch. This is my, uh, my food sketchbook that is incredibly dirty on the, uh, the outside. So this is in Etcher Labs. This is the 8-inch uh, square uh hot press um i prefer working on hot press um it just you know my my preference um especially you know with gouache uh i got these on the etcher labs website uh, it was a three pack they're not cheap sketchbooks um but i got in a bundle i got three of them so the link to that is in the description as well as um I'm using my Hemi gouache today, and I have the, this is the 48 color twin, um, 
Aquin Cup set. Oh, these actually really cleaned up. Like, so they weren't dirty, but um, I hadn't used them in a while, so I sprayed some uh, distilled water in the ones that were open last night, and then just let it sit in the case. And this is actually the sponge that goes with my Stay Wet palette, and I just um wet this and wrung it out, and then left it in the uh in the uh the case in here overnight and these actually look like they came back pretty nicely they might need a little a little mixing but so let me just kind of all right um just gonna kind of grab a few colors that i think i'm going to use for this project Just so I don't have to have the uh the big case out and then it'll be off to this if I need it. So how are you guys doing today? Um I expect it'll probably be a little quiet day because I'm not coloring by you know. Um what it is uh you know what i am gonna pull the oranges out i grabbed a paper towel also um and i actually do need to open a blue that blue so we'll open those up so um let me just real real quick so these um paints are obviously not new uh they have been around for for a while there are a variety of different um different sets i actually have one that's like a metallic set as well that i haven't opened yet and uh they, they kind of end up being one of those either love them or hate them from what what it seems um i know that there are some people that had uh issues with their sets like molding um, I haven't had this set for very long and, um, I haven't had any issues with it. Now, when you watch people like unbox these and whatnot, um, in videos, they open all of the containers and pull all of the, the wrappers off of them. And so when you're filming, like I get the reason for doing that because it's aesthetically pleasing to look at the whole like spread opened up in the box. But if you're purchasing these for your, for yourself, do not need to take like take the covers off of every single paint cup. I would advise only opening them as you use them, uh, especially if you have the the sets that have like two whites. Um, when you're working with gouache, white tends to be a heavily used color, so some of these sets come with two containers of white. You don't need to open both both whites; just open one at a time, and also uh leaving the the little wrappers kind of like on here as a little like flap um when you're done you just kind of cover it cover it back over um and it'll you know keep stuff from getting in your in your paint um and also it will help you with um <laughs> with color matching because once you take these off there's not really anything else on the containers that tells you what the color is um, and I do believe, actually, no, I can't say that. I think you can get the white separately, but I don't believe that you can just buy a, can't just buy the cups. They come in the sets. I should probably not put this on top of my iPad, so let me move that. And I'm just going to attempt to open these without making a mess. Or without breaking the uh, container. Okay. 
Maybe. But yeah, these are kind of um kind of difficult to open. Well, I'm actually using pliers. And I probably should have grabbed some paper towel, but I don't know why I don't just keep a roll of paper towel in my office. That would be the smart thing to do. But, um, missed you guys last week, but it was definitely a much needed, um, I mean, I was working even though I wasn't live. I care a bunch of stuff around the house and, uh, done some editing and got ahead on some things and worked on some planning and not as much as I I didn't get as much done as I would have liked but no but you know such is life all right we're only of that like that Okay, so I did go grab some paper towels. And I am going to, so I'm going to come back to these pages. Obviously, I will fill these in with something else. But this page didn't quite lay as flat as I would have liked. So. And I'm just going to this cross here and lighten up my sketch just a so. little. And we'll go ahead and actually some painting. I will put the music back on, but I'm going to find another playlist because the one I had on. Okay, so we're going to put these over here because I'm going to start on my background first. Yeah, these actually softened up really nice just letting them sit over overnight. Trying to figure out which brush I want to use. Okay. 
me you grab a couple filberts right now Um, can you guys hear me? Just, just out of curiosity, uh, I would hope uh, they couldn't hear And I never know, so, like, sometimes YouTube, like, the, the dashboard is a little weird here because it'll say, oh, your stream status is excellent, but then also give you a notice that, like, your audio bitrate is messed up. Like it's telling me my audio bit rate is zero, but in OBS it is very clearly not. I'm going to move these back here so that I don't bump into them and So I want my background here behind my bread basket. I'm going to go with uh with a blue, but I'm going to start out with a really like watercolory layer. And then I can always um my next layers get a little more opaque. So oh, I am still pretty uh pretty new this medium, but I am really enjoying But I hope everybody had a good week last week, had a good weekend. It was pretty uneventful here.
I don't really like how my pretzel is hanging out of the basket over here, but if I was going to fix that, I should have done it before. Too late now. I hope this is the list that uh, the copyright every time.
So I just kind of want to like clean some of these areas up. Although I kind of like the, um, especially for the, like the background here, a little bit of like patchiness. But also I have to be careful um, not to get this too wet because then otherwise it'll just lift my lift my paint up. So All right, and I think I should be safe to start on the basket. And then if worse comes to worse, I will have to turn the, I'll turn the sketchbook upside down. I'm going to go with a smaller brush for this.
Music is very chill. Okay, so I just recently bought this set of brushes. Um, this is the first time I've used them, but I have used other Princeton brushes. These are actually, like, I think these are probably going to become my go-to. This is one of the uh, Princeton Select, the Filbert brushes. And I have them in a couple different sizes, but I'm really enjoying the... It's got like just enough like a flex, I think, for what uh, what I'm doing with it. But it also, if I if I turn it, I can use it like flat to get nice washes, but then I can also tip it up on its side. So it's nice to have a brush that is kind of like multi, like multi-functional because then I'm not switching brushes repeatedly if I need to do something different with it. FK, there was a bathroom cleaning emergency because Mungo decided he'd rather pee next to the litter box and not in it. Oh, no. Gotta love cats. I have, um... I mean, because we've got four cats, we have, like, a million cat boxes. But I have, uh, one in particular that likes to pee up the side of the box so I have to make sure I have high-sided litter boxes and then I have uh that that same one that likes to pee up up the side of the box also likes to kick litter everywhere and of course he taught um Lorna so She also likes to kick litter everywhere. But welcome back. I got scared because I, I was getting an audio bitrate error in, um, in, uh, uh, studio and I was like oh crap is there something like legitimately wrong with my my audio
But I mean, I honestly kind of anticipated this stream to be quiet because I'm not doing adult coloring. Audio is good on your end? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I expect today to be, uh, to be a little, a little quieter. Especially considering, like, I didn't, um, stream last week, so... But I just really, uh, I don't know. I, I just wanted to do something of my own today. I'm guessing, um, did, did Bungo pee outside the litter box and then he was, like, upset that he did it, so... I'm trying something a little different with uh with this one today. I was doing um like typically up until this point when I've been doing you know gouache paintings, I've been doing like a base a base layer and then trying to build up on top of it and I don't think I have the the, the skill set with my paint consistencies to be able to do that. So I'm um, trying to block in like mid tones first and then my lighter tones around my mid tones and then use my darkest tones as my thickest, most opaque layer. Um, kind of something like that i'm honestly just really just winging it but i'll have to do some detail work on this at the end because um just to bring back like some of the the lines between the pieces of the basket and also to cover up some of my pencil sketching because I didn't erase, I didn't, well, I did erase, but I didn't erase enough of it. And, um, I didn't use a water-soluble, uh, pencil when I did this. I just used a mechanical pencil. 
but that's not a huge deal because as I build my layers up, I can I can fix that. Or at least I hope I can fix it. <clears throat> Although I do kind of like a little bit of the white showing like through as kind of like natural, natural highlights. So I don't want to like spread my paint out too much because, oh, oh, excuse me, because I actually kind of like the way that looks. And then of course I found that, um, One of the things I've noticed with gouache is it looks completely different when it dries. So if you keep playing with it while it's wet, rather than just sometimes like letting it, letting it dry and seeing what it does, it kind of, kind of mucks it up sometimes. So there are certain instances where it's better to just not play with it on the paper and just let it dry and then see what happens after. And also, sometimes dark colors dry um, lighter and lighter colors dry darker. And that actually varies from gouache brand to gouache brand. Like, I thought this brown was going to dry uh, darker than, uh, than it did, so... There's a couple areas I'll have to go back in and touch up.
right at the top. Oh, I completely forgot to color that little face back there with the blue, but that's okay. I've got my other brush here, so I can... Uh... My other brush has brown in it now, so... So I might have to switch brushes here for this. Hey, Brittany, how are you? Welcome on in. Nice brushes for my detail work. So this brush works pretty good as a base layer, but it seems to be kind of splitting as it dries, and I don't want a whole bunch of water for the next top layers but we're not quite at that point yet I'm really just playing around Hi, 
how are you, Brittany? Hope your day is uh, going well. I'm just trying to pull up some of my reference photos that I was looking at when I did my drawing. So let's see, I've got the russet. little bit of this let's get three oh uh, i should use the popsicle stick youtube's throwing a hissy fit oh that's not good apparently it was throwing a hissy fit at me a little while ago as well I shouldn't have mixed this with my paintbrush. I broke the I broke the rules. That is that is those on us.
kind of immersed in what I'm doing. Like, I'm really enjoying this process. Maybe not necessarily how it looks right at the moment, but... Just, I don't know, this is... It's relaxing, and honestly, I feel like that's... You know what? That's, that's... What I need today. Relaxing. Color mixing with gouache is way different than watercolor. It just, like, I don't think you realize how much, how, or how little gouache, but like, goes, um, like, it goes a long way. Originally, this was going to be a blueberry muffin, but it looks like it's going to be a bran muffin now because it came out way darker than I wanted, although I could probably tone it down.
Aria, welcome. Hope your work day is going all right. Appreciate the lurk. We're just having a quiet, chill day today. Absolutely nothing wrong with a chill day. <laughs> Facebook page uh, yesterday he had a video ready to go and then um, I noticed that the post and the post disappeared and the video didn't go up um, I think he's just been busy with work and life and needed you know to focus on things outside of, of YouTube Um, I, I know his, his work schedule changed and he went back to, uh, a day shift schedule. So I imagine, you know, between that and Willow, he's just been busy. Okay, I actually really like the way this croissant looks at the moment. I am still going to do some work to it, but I'm going to stop playing with it for, for a minute. And just let it, let it dry and then come back to it. Super busy, overwhelmed, need to find a way to gain balance or, no, or go nuts. Yeah. I mean, like, this is um currently my, like, my full-time job. And it's stressful as it is doing it full, well, full-time, um, let alone, you know, with other responsibilities and, and whatnot and so I can't say that I blame him for needing um needing a break.
But I don't know. I mean, maybe he just um, decided to hold off on the, the video because he wanted to make some additional edits or, or whatnot to it. So... I think he was just uh kind of getting burnt out Uh, I couldn't tell ya. I actually really like the way this looks so far for not really knowing what, um, what I'm doing. Hey Stardust, how are you? Hope you've been well. Paint up some of this all good so now you can color. Oh, that sucks about the, uh, the, the paint episode. I feel you on that one.
I should have waited for this to dry a little bit more. What am I playing with this morning? Um, I am actually working with the uh, Himmy Jelly Gouache. And an original illustration. So this is in my, um, my food sketchbook. No, my food sketchbook. I, I mean, I, I, I guess in the end, you know, the the that's what the food becomes. But no, 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 it's, it's my food sketchbook. I have Invisalign in, so sometimes it makes it hard to understand me. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. I just, uh, I am probably not enunciating properly today.
How do I not have a tiny brush? You know what? This will this will work. Tuesday, enunciation is the least of our issues. Just transpose some numbers on a report and thought I had to start from scratch again. Oof. Oof. Oh no, there's green and a purple. <laughs> Uh, got your coffee soon what um my sketchbook this is um an etcher etcher labs uh i'm using the eight inch uh square hot press i don't think they sell this sketchbook like individually i got it in a three pack uh bundle off their website there is a link to it in the description um but it is, these are not, um, not cheap sketchbooks. Uh, I think for the three pack, I paid like 80 bucks. But, um, they are one of my favorite sketchbooks. And they do have them in different, uh, different sizes and uh cold press as well Yeah, I just um it's a good size. I like the uh the the eight inch, but I think there's also like a six. Yeah, I think there's like a six as well. Um they're really good. They just, you know, I can throw it in my bag if I want to take it with me when I um when I'm on my way to the base. And aside from like the first, like the first couple of pages, like once you get past this initial little like, um, like this this part right here doesn't quite lay flat, but um, 
once you get past that, it lays flat so you can color across the um, the center. Okay, now I need to do... Yeah. Do I have any of the pinks open? I need to color block this centerpiece right here before I take my break. I don't think I have any of... Um... Do that middle part in. Now I have the rest open. Have any pinks? Oh, I do have the pink open. I do, but I don't have a whole lot of room on my palette. Gosh, I wish I wish I could zoom out and show you guys the hot mess that is my desk. Uh, what size of the Hemi you have? Have one um, made the mistakes to open them all and remove the top completely? Um, I am uh, using, I have the, uh, it's the 48, the twin cup. So it comes with like the dual kind of like coordinating colors like, uh, like this. So they're smaller um, little containers, but... Yeah, I think, um, I was actually talking about that at the beginning of the stream. I think uh, a lot of, because when people watch the videos of people like unboxing them and, and whatnot, um, generally when people are making the videos, uh, it's to swatch them. So they undo the whole, like all of them. And, um, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, like if you, if you're, I get why they do it when they're filming videos, uh, totally get it. But if you're not, um, create, creating content, uh, there's no need to open every single one. But, um, if you spray them down every so often, even if you're not, like, using, using them regularly, um, with distilled water, let the distilled water just sit in the, uh, container over, like, I let mine sit overnight last night because I haven't used mine in a while. And, um, the other thing that some people do is... Uh, in between 
Now, I wouldn't do this, like, for an extensive period of time. Um, but, like, say they've been sitting for a while and you haven't, uh, you haven't used it in a while and you're gearing up for, like, a project. Uh, if you take a paper towel, uh, dampen it, wring it out, and then tuck it in this little, uh, little well right here and then seal it. Uh, I did that. Uh, well, I actually used, this is the, um, the pad that goes with my Stay Wet palette. So, last night I sprayed some distilled water into the, uh, the, the trays that I had opened that I had used. Let the water sit and then put my, um, my pad on top of it and closed it up. And I have had zero issues going back this morning and re, like, be working um, any of the containers that I had previously used. Yeah, I mean, I know I've heard some people say that they've had, like, you know, um, issues with, like, mold and things like that. But realistically, like, anything that's enclosed with any kind of moisture in it for an extended period of time and not, like, touched or monitored is going to be susceptible to, like, to that. Um... But it's like it's gouache. It's designed to be rewettable. So them drying out between uses isn't really. It's it's not something to like panic about. Okay, so I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna take my break. I'm gonna tidy up my desk, make myself uh, a hot beverage. Uh, see if uh, Lorna has come out for lunch. Tidy up my desk. Did I already say tidy up my desk? I may have already said tidy up my desk, but I'm going to tidy up my desk and change my water out and yada yada. So I'll leave the music on for you guys. Let me try and find something a little more upbeat. Okay, I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm just uh, sorting through my brushes. I don't know why I said it like that.
Ooh, dinner time. All right. Enjoy your dinner prepping. I'm gonna take just a minute here to think about this and get my hot beverage. I think I'm gonna um gonna work on the basket. Uh, but I'm gonna ponder some of my hot chocolate first before I jump back into things. Oh no, right in the paint. There is not enough space on my desk. Oh, okay. I guess we've moved on to sea shanties. darker than I have liked, but it should dry lighter.
Oh, well, this playlist took a, a took a turn. Uh, can someone please contact Ryan for me? Um, I'm not really comfortable getting involved in the workings of other people's channels and groups. Um, have you tried emailing him? That's that's a pretty lofty request to be asking of, of, of people. Um, my best advice would be to try and um, email him. If he won't respond, I, I mean, I don't, I can't, um, I can't make him respond. Can't do the sea shanties anymore. I mean, I, I, I don't really know what to, um,
onto their watercolor pencils they wanted to help. That um, probably is for the best. Or if um, you don't hear anything and you find somebody else that wants them, then... to rewatch YouTube keeps freezing for me. That's all good. That's what the uh the the replays are for. And I know you're busy. You got to feed the feed the family. But I do appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's, um... See how it, how it turns out. I don't think I'm going to finish this today, but hopefully I can get enough done on it to take another thumbnail.
So this is the um, this is the hard part is when um, your water consistency becomes a well. I mean, you need to watch your water consistency re like regardless. But now that I have my bottom, like my bottom layer down and I'm going back over it, I have to be really careful not to have too much water on my brush as I'm doing like these details. Um, because of, it will lift um, and reactivate the paint underneath. So this is where it gets a little, little tricky.
definitely, um, like, to get, like, sucked into.
There's an angry cat outside my door. Sit in this chair for a thousand years and watch the woods consume the night.
I'm just uh, taking a taking a minute here, making sure that uh, I haven't missed anything from anybody, and also just you know, just just pondering my next moves. Definitely aren't gonna finish this today, but that's that's okay. Sometimes it's better, well, I mean, not just with painting, but, um, I tend to over, overwork my pieces, so taking, uh, taking breaks is good. I think I'll I'll start on uh, some of the detail work on some of red, but definitely aren't going to. Finish it.
Welcome back. Yeah, it's coming along. It's like, it's, I think like uh, the thing I'm having the hardest part with is just consistency between like my layers of gouache and just learning how to, um, how to shade with gouache. But, I mean, that all comes with time and practice, so. I don't hate it. So I guess that's... I guess that's the important thing. Like, I, I can feel myself wanting to use it like watercolor. But I guess for not really knowing what I'm doing and not really being like confident in just my drawing skills in general. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's been fun and relaxing. I mean, I don't, oh, we can ask for, right? I mean, 
I'm not like stressed out over it, so it's this is this is what sketchbooks are for. Add some who's add some texture on here this was honestly the one that i was like the most like cons concerned with because it came out like super dark i think once i start making it look more like a muffin a little bit better about it. And I'm just trying to remind myself too, like my my style is not real like realism. So once I feel like I'm not saying that you can't do realism with gouache, but I feel like it's even if you're doing like a realistic portrait with gouache, I feel like it's going to have that blocky what like it's going to have that blocky like illustrative quality to it. Okay, I guess that looks like a muffin. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Studio Ghibli manages to make like flat 
like animations with gouache but it just seems like a lot of the like the stuff that i see with with gouache definitely has that like very like illustrative vibe to it and I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm gonna use gouache and not acrylic gouache from the tubes, like the re. Uh, what, what was wrong with the, uh, the Reeves gouache? Just out of curiosity. Um. I have acrylic gouache and I have plans for a project for it. I just haven't um haven't used it yet, but uh I've used some of my Holbein gouache and the um the Arteza gouache. I have the Ar the the gouache tubes from Arteza. dry on you too fast to uh before you finish painting with it i mean you can just add more water to it some of that is i mean some of that depends on the on the brand and some of it also depends on like the environment that you're painting in like um my office tends to be a little bit drier so when i'm working with um like ink and things like that i have to account for that But, I mean, gouache is, you can use water with the acrylic gouache when you're, um, when you're, like, when you're putting your initial, like, layers down with it, just like you would with acrylic paint. Um, but yeah, the acrylic, acrylic gouache is not going to re-wet if you let it dry and then come back to it. But you could also, if you were working on a long-term project... Uh, you could use a stay wet palette. I've done that with acrylic before, but. But I mean, with regular, regular gouache, it's, it's made to be re-wet. Cause some of my some of my gouaches dried on my palette like when I went to take my break and I just add water to it to bring it back. I mean my palette is like a hot mess right now. But yeah, the drying time happens with um, with artist grade gouache as well.
have enough light out here. It's not. There's. regular gouache and not acrylic gouache i mean a regular acrylic gouache is going to is it's going to dry as, as you work as well but it's made to be um just add more water to it and it'll bring it it'll bring it back Like I've had to, I've had to uh, revive some of my wash that's been on my palette for this this project. I mean, generally, I'm back and forth between my water and my gouache as it as it is. But yeah, that's that happens. Happens with the Holbein gouache. It happens with. With the Turner gouache, it's happening with my jelly gouache. Had better results with the more expensive, better quality gouache. Uh, I wish I, um, I wish I could have, like, a wider, like, shot of my, my desk. It's like, when I, um, like, when I kind of, like, get into the, the zone with this, it's very much, like, a rhythm. But maybe someday if I move into a bigger studio. It would be nice to have enough space to, to have a two camera two camera setup. Considering I have the camera to do it, I just don't have the space. And I don't really want to do anything to this croissant. I like the way it looks. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up.
I um I ordered a couple new uh photo prop backgrounds. Um and I have a couple from this company that I have used previously, like when I was doing flat lay photography. And um that's what I've been using to take my pictures for my thumbnails. And I figured, you know what? I would get uh, another another couple just to have. And apparently now they make them double-sided. So, um, it's almost like four for the price of two. I was very excited to see that. I mean, the the... Opposite sides are patterns that I'm not sure when I would use for thumbnails, but. Nice to, ha nice to have options. Oh, pretzel, you're going to be the bane of my existence, aren't you? Well, you know what? I said that about the muffin, and he turned out okay, so... If it ends up looking funny, you can always blame it on the baker. True. I think I'll be able to, like, to, to correct it out. I just might need to, um, leave it and then come back to it. And I also might need to, like, mix up some different, um, some different colors because I have most definitely oh okay that's where we're going with that uh made a hot mess of my palette It's a, a little darker on this side than I would like, but
Because, yeah, I'm running out of, um... I'm running out of my Naples yellow. Plus, I should probably, like, let things dry first before I just start slapping paint on here. I mean, it looks like bread, so that's, you know, seriously though, like, I'm really proud of this croissant. And then eventually I'll have to go in and, you know, mess with the, mess with the background and, and whatnot, but. Cause I don't think I'm going to like, I'm not going to take the blue all the way to the edges. But I'll go in probably with a um, with a round brush and touch some things up, and then I'll end up doing like some shadowing underneath the uh, the basket and and whatnot. But I just really wanted to work on the bread, and then of course I'll have to go in and mess with my mess with my grapes. But honestly, I think that's a good place to, um, I think that's a good place to probably let it sit and marinate and go have a snack and some water and clean up the dumpster fire that is my desk at the moment. pause this because yeah that is gonna be i think where i where i put a pin in it so like honestly for like not really knowing what the heck i'm doing um like i'm pretty pretty pleased with the uh the way that it's turning out so far like um some questionable paint paint mixing happened um yeah a little pink area here definitely was was more vibrant than i thought it was gonna but uh at some point i feel like this is so could have busted these out they're kind of like pastel colors but I figured for like for for the the sketching the sketchbook um and just the like the practicing and the playing around I think that jelly gouache is a is a good um like low low cost option you know for just just fucking around um and I like the jelly gouache it's uh it's fun to to play with so um yeah i am seriously i keep looking at this croissant and i want to eat it i really am pleased with the way the croissant came out <laughs> um 
but yeah, so that's going to be uh, it for me for today. Um, I'm trying to think. Stream. Eyes. I'm just grinding, you know, in the background, just trying to put in the work. Um, we had the, the two mushroom videos come out and i had hoped that they would do a little bit better but then i'm thinking that maybe as more people start um as more videos for the chroma flow start popping up as like the you know the the people they start picking them up and um reviewing them that maybe that will kind of to people looking for tutorials using them so i'm hoping that maybe the, those two videos and the next one that I have coming maybe that kind of like kickstarts those uh I tried some things you know as far as like editing and and whatnot and I am still going to continue to try and you know find my my editing style so uh I have another video that is in that should be ready by saturday it's a shorter shorter video um and it's you know half edited anyways and, and um i should have a book review on thursday or flip through um i should have a a flip through on thursday um fabiana atanasio uh her new book has come out and i know there's a couple people that have um already done flips of it but I've had it on pre-order, so I'm gonna throw of it. So should have that later on in the week. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for stream next week. It honestly depends on how far I get through my painting projects. Uh, we may end next week, or I'm back in coloring book. Uh, just on what the state of my desk looks like. So, but. Thank you guys so much i know this uh is not adult coloring but it is part of my long-term plan bring other things to the channel totally understand if that's not people vibe but shit, sometimes i just my own stuff so Appreciate uh, the support. Appreciate those of you that hung out today. And I will see you guys next one.